entry. Now, that doesn't mean do a dance, although I could teach you how to do a dance. Getting her to realize that the sound means she's going to get a treat is really where I need to start. I'll give her a minute to think about it. Hi, baby. The noise scares her a little bit. But she can associate the sound with something good. And I think I'm going to try something other than chicken because I've been giving her chicken and she, she loves food, this one. She's only doing that because there's food in there. I want to get her to put her when she puts a foot in, into the kennel. And then I'm going to give her a command. I should that. It's not as easy as it looks. You put it into practice. What does mama want? Hmm? Coconut. I don't know if 
this clicker training will work with her. She's coconut. Coconut. I think maybe if I fed you liver, huh? Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, click means treat. Look, Coco. Coconut. <laughs> Jesus. She doesn't understand yet that this click means yummy things are coming. You know, they say tortoiseshell cats aren't too bright. I, you know, maybe I can do some agility training with her because she likes to jump around a lot. See, she put her head in, so that's what I want to get her in the direction of going in. Running out of chicken here. I have to stock up on some things. I think I'm missing a lot of cues here. Coconut. I'll cook that because her head was partially in. I have to do this with her every day. I think she understands. She rubs up against me. See, the problem with doing this on the rug is little pieces of chicken get stuck in the rug. And so she's more concerned with trying to get those. Oh, jackpot! See, if I hadn't been yapping and paying attention to that, I would have missed that. She put, she ventured in. That, that's the stuff you want to get. 